Hello and welcome back and today we're going to be doing a unboxing of the Pikachu VMAX box from Crown Zenith that has just come out this week. Here's the box and um, let's get this ripped open and see what we have inside. This is one of my favourite promos for a while actually out of the box, I can't lie, because this Pikachu is so cute. This box doesn't want to open for me. There we go. <laughs> so let's get this lid off and see what's inside. So we'll remove our promos first. Add into the piles of rubbish around me. So we've got our Pikachu V. This is so cute. This is the same artwork as the Eevee from the Crown Zenith set. I'm still to pull. And I absolutely love this card. It is really sweet. I really like this one. There we go. And then I'll do as I pop them at the back with our other stuff. And then we have the Pikachu V Max Thick Pikachu. I do like these sort of cards. Let me just get this open. I don't want to open, but let me get this open. There we go. Put them two on there. Get rid of this. We've got our. Let me just zoom out a bit because you can see a bit better for a minute. Uh, Large card. Our jumbo, the score mover jumbo. So I'm going to get a binder for these because they just bend if not. And it actually sends me insane because I like to keep them in a decent state. Put in the bottom drawer actually for now. Might be safer. Then we have five packs of Crown Zenith. Now, let's see if this can be better than the last two collection boxes I opened from this set. Move the camera a bit and see if we can get a bit better than the last ones we opened from this because it was not a good opening with them. Go card. One, two, three, four. Need them. So we're going Dusclops, Matang, Energy Switch, Aron, Corfish, Energy Search, Scyther, Riolu. Oh. Oh, we've got the Hatterin V Max from the Galarian Gallery. Oh, that's a nice start. And the Glaceon V. Yes, I need this. And I cannot seem to pull Eevees out of sets normally. So this has just made me so happy. Right, already this is a million times better than the other two collection boxes we've opened. Well, the other one I opened on here and the other one I opened with Callum. And oh my God, they were shocking, them ones. It's the Regigra Regi Drago and the Regilekis. And they were absolutely shocking collection boxes. But them two alone, that's made it absolutely worth it opening. Because I need them. I might. No, I don't need Violu. I've got all the fighting types. I need quite a few rare, regular rares. Because I've been getting quite decent pulls. I'm not really getting the regular rares that I need. Which is a stupid problem to be having. Like, I'm happy to get the big pulls. But I'd also like to be able to complete my set. Got that. It's energy. Energy switch. Crocker rock. Lunatone, Larvesta, Tangler, Baltoy, Galarian Meowth, Whalemer, the Magmortar. <laughs> Have I got three of this? I think I have three of this now. One I'm giving to my cousin. The other one I'm going to pop in the giveaways for when we have a few more people on the channel and we will give this card away in a bit. And the Lipard Regular Rare. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have three of this card now. One of which I promised to my cousin. So this one can go in the giveaway draw. There is giveaway draw is building up and up and up in cards. So at some point soon, I'll give you a bit of a look at what is there and see if we can get any further. Some point soon as well, we'll get another ETB of this and we'll get a big opening of it and see if we can complete some more of the binder and have a look at the binder on here. Have you been, let me know if you've been opening much Crown Zenith as well. Have you been getting much luck with it? I know some people are having more luck with the collection boxes and the ETBs. I've had a very varied experience with ETBs lately. We have the Absol, which I'm not sure if I have or don't. I might already have this card. And the Mewtwo, which I do need. The Mewtwo Rare. This is like... The perfect box that i needed i got this box by the way from 
Collector's Card House, which is run by Pokey Chloe and Pokey Dean. I'll link their shop down below. I'm assuming most people who are watching already have seen them. That's why I watch a lot of streams. I buy a lot through them. I put my YouTube there so I don't want to put up place on. So we're currently three for three with pulls. I can't see me going four for four, I'm not gonna lie. That's just asking way too much of this collection box. There's your code. Let's see what we can get out of this one. Honestly, I'm not gonna complain now. I can't complain at this because this has been a good start. For me. Trekking shoes, potion, glaring Mr. Mime, sunken, coughing, oddish. No, stop. Please stop. This is one of the best cards to pull. This is my ch one of my chase cards. I've pulled the leaf yarn from the Galarian Gallery. Oh, I could honestly cry right now. Like I can never pull these cards. Oh, and the Zamazenta V Star. This has been a double hit. This is literally one of the most amazing boxes I've opened yet. Oh, this is amazing. I can't cover that up. I need to put it there. Um, I can't cover Glaceon up with Leafion. I need to keep both out. Which means we need to add to this side. That side's going to get very overloaded. But one last pack. You know something? We don't get some out of this pack. We don't get some out of this pack. We're being a bit greedy if we ask for something else. Because this is just insane. There's your code card. And let's see what last pack can do. I'm not expecting a huge amount. Considering we've just got all that from four packs. But four for four. I don't think we'll go five for five, but I'll take four for five absolutely any day. Cheruby, Execute, Reverse Home Mewtwo. I have four of these, by the way, so it seems to be quite an easy one to pull. Finally, I have a massive gap in my binder page for this card. The Waylord Regular Air has been driving me insane. I must have opened easily 100 packs probably now of this set and not pulled a regular rare Waylord. It's been sending me insane. So this could not have gone better for me completing this set. I'm going to sleeve this because it's going in a binder. And when I put anything in a binder, it is sleeved to protect the cards. But let's have a quick look over what we have just got out of this set. Because this has just been an insane set to do. Like, I can't complain at this. That was just a hit to me, that last part, because I needed that card. So we've got the Zamazenta V-Star. The Absol from Glaring Gallery, Hatterin from Hatterin V Max from the Glaring Gallery, the regular Waylord, I included it as a hit, I needed it. The Glaceon V, the Leafion Galarian Gallery V Star, like how gorgeous is this card? It's just so beautiful. The artwork on the Glaring Gallery has been amazing. The Mewtwo Hollow, which I just again needed. We have a Magmorta Glaring Gallery, which I'm pretty sure we have three of. And then we have our two promos, the Pikachu V Max and this very cute Pikachu V, which I think is one of the nicest promos we have had in a long, long time. And that is including some Eevee promos. I think this is extremely cute. So you can probably tell I am very excited about that lot. That was insane, especially for my collection. Never mind my Eevees. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what do you think of the cards. Do you think it was a good set out of the box? What have you opened in these boxes as well? So I know some people are struggling with some of these collection boxes, but that has been more than worth the money. And let me know what else you want to see. Like I say, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.